Recently, some letters came out showing that Bruce Lee had something of a cocaine habit after my book came out. And so that doesn't really change my perspective on Bruce. I always viewed him as kind of an actor who was trying to be like Steve McQueen, but it's a little more extreme than just smoking some pot and eating a few hash brownies. It was letters written by Bruce to his drug dealer in California asking him to ship more cocaine over. Wow. So, That's such a romantic way to ask for drugs. His dealer was one of his students, actually. So somebody he knew. So there's like a series of at least a half dozen letters back and forth. One of them is like, he wrote a letter where he said, I'm so high. <laughs> <laughs> The thing I was struck me about it is that's not a text or an email. You wrote the letter and then the next day you had to mail it. <laughs> yeah. you can't. I think he had a lot of celebrity flaws of that era. If he had continued to live, would he have ended up in rehab? Bruce Lee never had to experience any of that. To be fair, because of some of the criticism, his movie got banned in China.